McCaskill. She stands 168 centimeters tall with a 175. The first lady of boxing, Cecilia Breckis, one of the most decorated athletes in the history of the sport. Jessica Caskilla McCaskill, one of the best fighters in the world today, who fights out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Oh, pure bad blood. Well, those are the particulars. Now it's time to get this fight underway. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Bergen, Norway, an undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, known as the first lady of boxing, Cecilia Brakus. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Chicago, Illinois, here is a women's two-weight division world champion and an undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, Jessica McCaskill. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions ringside. You've got future opponents, past opponents. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. Good luck. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Right punch. Oh, that punch. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Nice exchanges from both women in this round. She eats that jab. She can't find a home for that jab. So much firepower here. Back. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Fighter's going to get clipped first. She blocks the uppercut. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? defense on that left uppercut. That 
big hook doesn't land. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. One punch could change everything in this battle. When are we going to see a jab from these two? That left uppercut doesn't score. The scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. One to get clipped. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the draw or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Throws the uppercut but misses. Nice exchanges from both women in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now they're gonna find out. There's a scoring blow. Punch. You don't want to trade. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Which fighter's gonna get quick first? We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Misses with the jab. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again.
Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Man. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get caught. that left lands. Another scoring shot there. What a shot! And down goes Brickus. doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Final 10 seconds here, and it's been a good round for her for sure. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Start to six. That hook buzzed her. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. This is not where Cecilia Breakers wants to be. I don't believe what we're seeing here. She just misses with that big right hand. Punch scores.
Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Both fighters unwilling to engage in that round. A bit surprised. Just a little fight finder, that's all it was. Here we go, it's round seven. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw, look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood toss. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Yeah, but it doesn't score. He scored that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both women in this round. Oh, oh, and the cast killer may have been put out of her misery. A knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt.